Despite recent oncology breakthroughs, conventional anti-cancer treatments may have limitations. Decades of dedicated research are resulting in the capacity to create a new generation of antibody drug conjugates, or ADCs. Can an ADC be greater than the sum of its parts? An ADC is a unique combination of a targeted monoclonal antibody, a stable linker, and a potent cytotoxic. They are designed to deliver anti-cancer agents directly to the tumor cell in a targeted manner to limit systemic exposure. Based on preclinical studies, the monoclonal antibody component of the ADC binds to the target antigen on the tumor cell surface. Target antigens are preferentially or exclusively expressed on the surface of cancer cells to provide a tumor-specific binding site for the monoclonal antibody. Monoclonal antibodies have the ability to persist in circulation over time, allowing for prolonged exposure to the cancer cells and to become internalized by the cancer cell. Stable linkers conjugate potent cytotoxic agents to monoclonal antibodies and are designed to allow ADCs to remain inactive while in circulation. Linker stability in circulation controls the distribution and delivery of the cytotoxic agent to the target cell. The use of more stable linkers may allow delivery of the cytotoxic agent to the cancer cell over an extended period of time. Cytotoxic agents incorporated into ADCs can be up to 1,000-fold more potent than currently used drugs. ADCs are designed to allow for the use of highly potent, normally intolerable, anti-cancer cytotoxic agents. ADCs have multiple proposed mechanisms of action that represent a potential therapeutic approach. The monoclonal antibody component of an ADC may possess its own anti-cancer activities, which may include prevention of signaling, antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity, ADCC, and induction of apoptosis. Upon binding to the target antigen that is preferentially or exclusively expressed on the cancer cell, the ADC antigen complex may be internalized through a process known as receptor-mediated endocytosis. Based on preclinical models, internalization of the ADC antigen complex is followed by lysosomal degradation of the complex, resulting in release of the potent cytotoxic agent. The cytotoxic agent then interacts with critical cellular machinery to elicit cell death. Antibody drug conjugates, ADCs, are under investigation in many different cancer types. The potential of ADCs has been enhanced by several factors, including a more clinically relevant choice of target antigens, more potent cytotoxic agents in conjugation with linkers of improved stability, and a greatly expanded knowledge of ADC technology, cancer biology, and pharmacology.